Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about how to use the photo heal features of uh, the version 9 of Zara's photo products. Uh, I'm using uh, Zara Designer Pro X9, but uh, this also works with uh, uh, Page and Graphic Designer. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to do something, how to erase things and 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 uh, things that you don't want out of the out of the photo and make it look like it uh, it belongs that way. So here I have a photo that we took back in 2007, and um, I want to get rid of this date. So first, I need to select my photo, and I'm going to select my photo heel, and I can choose my size. Now, this, the size of this is uh, is selected by um, uh, using the slider here, and um, you can change that. And also, it, you should know that uh, it's screen size uh, related. So, if I were to zoom in, for example, on this, and still use this, then it's it's the same size on my screen, but uh, the amount it's going to affect of the picture is, is much less. Um, so anyway, uh, it's probably not a bad idea to, to do it at that uh, at that resolution, but uh, not really necessary for what I'm going to show you here. So I've got something that's large enough that's going to cover what I uh, what I want here. I'm just going to click my mouse button and go over it, and within seconds, um, the clever program. Um, erases what's there and uh, covers the background with uh, with um, the the you know related pixels from the rest of the background and uh, that's non-destructive I can undo and uh, it comes back and redo um, and uh, it's pretty neat now this is a very simplistic example because uh, the the background is pretty much a one solid color uh, so let's take a slightly different uh, example and I'm going to again go over this uh, this date to hide it, and it's over a couple of colors. So, but you can see that the star remains relatively sharp there. Um, and then I'm going to nudge the size of this down a little bit, and I'm going to show you if I wanted to get rid of this kind of stand thing here. All I have to do is kind of paint over it a little bit, and it disappears. And then I'm going to go over the ropes, and over that rope. Don't worry about it if you don't get it all first time around, just keep on painting over it. And you see I, I had a little um, artifact there. There was a little something of the, of the rope left over. All I did was click on it one more time, and, uh, and it disappeared. And I'm going to go over this. Sometimes you get artifacts, but then you just keep on going over them until you get them to, to show up how you would like them to. There we go. That's more or less okay. And there you go. So that's looking relatively good. If, if you, like I say, if you get a little artifact here and there, you can paint over them to, to make them look a little bit better. And, uh, and that, that more or less works out how you, you want it to. I'm going to do one last example. Um, I'm doing this one mainly because uh, I want to use this as the uh, icon for the, this particular video. It uh, encourages people to, to click on my videos when I have uh, pictures of scantily clad women as my icon. Now you can see that I, I drew over that and it, that removed that writing there, um, but I, I do have some discoloration on this on this thing. So I'm just going to keep on kind of going over it until I until I get all of the the uh, artifacts out of it. Yeah, that's not exactly happening like I wanted it to. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I think I just got too close to it when I was uh, coming down here. There we are. There 
There's an artifact. There's an artifact. Play with it a little bit until you get it done. That's looking pretty good. And then the last bit is I'm just going to go over these last couple of letters. I'm just going to click on each one individually. Little hole, little gap there, but click on it one more time and that fills that in. And that's it. Uh, very quickly and easily you can uh, you can adjust your photos to remove uh, items that uh, that you know don't fit in or you want to remove from from them uh, and uh, that's how you can use this uh, this photo heal so I hope you found that useful and interesting um, very easy tool to use and you'll come back and visit us again next time